Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we've got potentially exciting league action coming up on the menu for you. It is Manchester United facing Everton. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The lineup for Manchester United. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And here's the team for Everton. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And the match gets underway here at Old Trafford. Let's hope we're in for something special. Really good attacking play. Well, everyone makes mistakes. It's about how you bounce back from them. And there she is, in with a chance. Off the post and back in play. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And the danger is averted. Well, they can all calm down now, Derek. They've got away with that one, you have to say. Well, they've started really brightly here. They were so close to taking the lead. Yes, a really open flow to the game. End-to-end -end stuff. And a decent delivery. It comes to nothing in the end. This attack looks highly promising. The concession of a corner here. And deciding to go short with this one. Can they forge ahead? Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Soon. Nikita Paris still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in
Katja Snuais. And plenty of room in the wide area. Giving it a try. Russo. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Can they keep it going? To jump in front. It was an excellent example of how to break at pace. Well, that's counter-attacking football at its best. They switch on so quickly when they win the ball back. It deserved a goal. Graham. Nicolina Sørensen. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. But quick thinking defensively. George with it. Oh, great play. And a teammate got her out of trouble. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And so the referee blows the whistle. We've reached the halfway point here at Old Trafford. First half underway here at Old Trafford. Can they keep it going? Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Oh, fancy footwork. Might take the lead. There it is. The first goal in the derby. A special moment. Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger and show more urgency. None of which they did. And that's the result. So Everton get the ball moving again. Can they find a response here? Well, really on top of her game. The cross is on. Real chance. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Time for a change then. Well, opting for the short corner. The inside route looking promising. And closed down straight away. Let's fly here! Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Now we're into the final half hour. Over the touchline for what will be an Everton throw. Crossing opportunity. Oh, commanding goalkeeping.
Let's see about the delivery. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. And over comes the corner. And a goal to square the game. Into the seat stuff. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Moving it forward. That's well blocked. Well, whatever way you slice it, really, really wasteful. It certainly was. The goalkeeper should have had no chance there, but it was fairly simple for her in the end. Happy to take on the shot. A smart stop here. Ella Toon. Well, the United fans can sense a winner coming here, but can they create one more big chance? It's looking promising. This looks threatening. Ball is loose. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, I thought that was game over. It's a great save from the keeper, just to keep them in this. And they will make the change now. Now, who can she pass it to? Firing it towards goal. And the keeper was there. She did her job. And a chance for Manchester United now from the corner late on in this game. Here's a change for Manchester United. And deciding to go short with this one. Now veering in field. Just made sure nothing came of that. Out of play, United throw in coming up. Crossing possibilities. The fans imploring her to shoot. Really vital interception. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three. Opportunity it is. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Hannah Benison. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Ville de Berisa. And room now out on the flank. Good ball played over. It could be up for grabs. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Here it is now, a substitution.
taken short and space available inside but the danger averted for now not a huge chunk of added time one minute well, she's gliding through and the first period of extra time comes to an end still level here can they keep it Well, who is going to come out on top? Let's see if we find out in the second period of extra time. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Promising sequence. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Nicolina Sorensen. Now can they counter clinically? And the pass could do damage. This looks promising. And a textbook interception. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. Good pressure high up the pitch. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Locked together then, these two sides. And on we go now to penalty kicks. Can they keep it going? To jump in front! And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is when... And there it is! Perfectly executed! And confidently converted! Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And it's gone in. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. And off the top of the crossbar. And the penalty converted here. Well, it's all about keeping a cool head. Well, dead centre with that penalty. In it goes! Well, she's ready to strike. Can she put it away? And that was an exquisitely taken penalty. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. Job done from the spot. Now, is she going to remain clear-headed? Clinical, as always, in front of goal. As straight as an arrow. So, does she have the mental strength? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot.
Well, no guile there.